this tutorial and then we will be showing the web sorry github github repo page and now i'll be i'll be showing you what what, sh what you should be know and then what what kind of software do you, you will be need so so this is a repo page and then if you click on here you will eventually the branches so so these are the these are the branches that I created so you you'll be you'll be you'll be seen by its name so it clearly say that this is a template and then this is a finished project so that's activating and deactivating your plugin so so this is this is the main project so you can you can either use this one to download it let's say you want to start from here you can download the source code from here you can download the zip or you can use the command line so so that's what it is and then master is the initial part so it has i think nothing so except from the the name basic name and then and then the readme and then database secret database you know comments so that's why is it read 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 along and then we'll be we'll be using bootstrap for as a you know form validation and then and then these are the required software so you need php php 7 and a mysql 8 on on local host but if you i think wordpress you need to you need to tweak it along with to use mysql 8 but I think my sequel 5.7 is so my sequel 5.7 is compatible with WordPress so make sure you download one of those and then if you are using my sequel 8 and then you you need to treat a little bit but it's not so hard so I'm using my sequel my sequel 8 so it doesn't have any any impact on my computer or WordPress but make uh, be keep in mind that my SQL file is uh, is compatible with very very compatible with WordPress and you will need WordPress you download WordPress and then from from here so and for the for the for the PHP and MySQL, you can use the uh, SAMP and Apache friends. So you can use that one. So you don't need to install PHP and the MySQL differently. So all everything's at the one place. So if you want to if you want to start and then you start the project. So so that's what I'm talking about. So you you can start and stop the project by here, and then you need to treat it long. And you code editor, and then I prefer Visual Studio Code, and then my SQL Workbench is this one, this guy. So you can it's it's similar to Microsoft SQL Management Manager. So. So you write the query and then you can execute here like this one. So these are the database and then it's 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 it will do all the basic thing. Where are you? And and WordPress and then you need internet browser. Of course I, I believe you have one of those. So these are the git branches and and you 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 see that there and then we'll be we'll be using git so these are the branches i was talking about so you can download by by either single branch or everything but in in this tutorial we'll be using we'll be utilizing command line argument we don't we, we don't want to go over and over again so these are the these are the useful git command so sometimes if you need it you can come back here and then and then you can look at it so so 
Oh, by the way, the licensing is free, and then for any any book book personnel and commercial projects. But you, if you if you start from this project or this library, if you download the this this code, and then if you are reusing or you know I reusing this code, or if you are starting from this project, and then make sure you give me the reference so. It's nothing. It costs nothing for you, but it's really, really effective for me. That I'll be, I'll be. You know, I'm having one. I'm having you that, and then you having, you got my help, and then so it it make it it give me motivation, both morally. You know, so 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 next tutorial we we'll, we we'll be using GitHub and then, Git command line. So make sure you have a command line and then. And then we'll be, I'll be showing you how can you switch between the, between the pro, uh, between the GitHub branches. So, so that's it for this tutorial, and then I'll see you next tutorial.